Boys and girls, I'm sure you can think of a time in your life where you were scared and then you did something silly because you were scared. Well, our story today is a little bit more serious than that where Peter was scared. Peter was fearful because he was a bit confused by what was going on around him. Peter looked around and although he had said, Jesus, I will not only will I never deny you or betray you, he says, Jesus, I will actually, I will die for you. And yet we see just a few verses later when it comes down to Jesus' arrest and Peter sees what happens to Jesus. He's very confused. Why is Jesus not fighting? Why is he willingly handed himself over? Peter gets confused. He gets scared. He gets full of fear because he stopped trusting in Jesus, hasn't he? And in that moment of fear, he stops trusting Jesus and he denies ever knowing Jesus. And we know the story. We know that afterwards he weeps bitterly. But so boys and girls, we need to remember from our story today that we are going to be tempted sometimes to feel embarrassed, fearful or scared to say that we are Christians. We may be embarrassed to let people know that we go to church or that we find we go to kids club on a Friday or we read our Bibles or boys and girls we may be tempted to be embarrassed by the fact that we are trusting in Jesus and his death on the cross and we need to remind ourselves from the story. Remember Jesus said to Peter, watch and pray. Boys and girls, you need to be watching your life. We need to notice when we are feeling fearful and then we need to pray about those things so that we will not stop trusting in Jesus. And as this temptation comes where we think, oh, I'm a bit scared of people. Oh, I'm, what are my friends going to say? What are so and so going to say? Oh, I don't want them not to like me anymore. Boys and girls, we need to remind ourselves that Jesus went to the cross for you and he went to the cross for me. Jesus Although it, he, it was something he didn't want to do, we are told he, did, he asked God, please remove this cup from me. He still went to the cross because he knew it was necessary for you and for me to have our sins forgiven, forgiven and that the cross was the only way that that was going to make that possible. So boys and girls, when you are tempted to perhaps be fearful of what other people are saying to you about you being a follower of Jesus, remember, number one, watch and pray. And number two, remember all that Jesus has done for you. And the third thing I want you to remember is that you cannot do this on your own. As you watch your life and you pray, pray and ask God to help you to be bold and to be strong and to trust in him when difficult times come, when we're tempted to perhaps feel fearful of those around us. Isn't it wonderful, boys and girls, that this morning we were able to look at Peter and we were able to see that Jesus forgave him. We know the story as, um, as it goes on into the New Testament. Jesus builds his, he says, um, Peter is a, is a significant person in the life of the church. And so boys and girls, even though Peter messed up badly here, we know that Jesus didn't write him off. He forgave him and that him and, and Peter continued in a wonderful relationship. So when we mess up, remember boys and girls that Jesus will forgive us. That's why he died on the cross, so our sins could be forgiven. But make sure that you are turning to him in thankfulness and in prayer. Have a wonderful Sunday.